Nice All right, we're going to talk about a couple of things today. Basically, hey, I'm the hat guy who plays guitar. Uh, my name is Kevin. I usually play a little guitar, teach you some things about my hat shop where I work in the city and things about uh, our inventory. Also, just things about how to take care of your hats, store them. Today, I'm going to show you how to put a chin strap on your hat. Now I don't have a chin strap with me, but it's pretty easy. Essentially what it is, uh, there's two different methods. There's the, uh, the homegrown method, where you're basically gonna make two holes, get a piece of rawhide, like some rawhide leather, and just sort of like weave it in. The other is um, the easier way, but it's gonna be more expensive the uh, stampede strap. Now there's something called a stampede strap that you can buy uh, online. You could buy them at JJ Hat Center. We have really nice uh, uh, horsehair ones. We sell them, they're not online, uh, they're not listed, on, but you have to call the store, 1-800-622-1911. Uh, uh, that's 800-622-1911, but uh, if you're out of uh, the U.S., you have to dial a different number. It would be 212-239-4368. And you ask for a stampede strap. Um, they're 45 bucks. They're all horsehair. And it's basically what it is. It's, uh, it's like a braid of horsehair that comes down here. Well, let's say here and here. And there's a little bead that you slide under here, right? And then there's these two little tassels, kind of like uh, braids, that come down. And at the end, there's a little, uh, like a tassel. The horse hair, you know, there's like a, you know, two tassels. So anyway, it looks pretty cool. There's two strings and a bead, you know. Now, you can get a stampede strap really easily on eBay. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, too. It's stampede, S-T-A-M, like Michael, S-T-A-M-P-E-D-E, -E, stampede strap. Now, the way they work, basically, there's a little gap between the sweatband and the felt. And if you just pull it and you separate it a little there, you're gonna see there's some stitches and there's a little loose area. Now the stampede strap at the end of one side, there's these two, like a little two metal prongs together. It looks exactly like the metal things that you separate on a manila, manila envelope, you know, when you kind of open them, like yeah, those yellow manila envelope things, but it's skinnier, it's like more needle-like. So you take these two needles, which are together, 
you put them right through that stitching there. Okay, can you see that? Right in there, you just jam the needle in, okay? Double needle, bang. And then you open it up, the needle's in here. You spread them apart, you separate it like those two prongs on a manila envelope. You open them, and then you just put the uh, sweatband over it. What I usually do is I open the, the two prongs and I cover them with a piece of duct tape. It makes it feel a little less lumpy. You don't have like that metal thing under the band. You could take some duct tape, cover it, and then another layer of duct tape over that. It gives it a little bit of foam protection, just like softer, covers the metal. I like the padding of it, so I usually cover it with duct tape. One for, you know, for padding, another for strength to it, just, you know, it's strong duct tape. So then the other side you go through, little double needle thing, separate the prongs, Okay, so now you've got basically two bands coming down. Now, um, how do you know where to put them? Now, it's very easy. This is something that you have to do for both methods, a homegrown method and for buying a stamp, stampede strap. Now, basically, if you want to make your own stampede strap or make your own chin strap, what you got to do is get some rawhide. That's basically it. I'm going to close the window now. You just gotta get some rawhide. Um, you know, a nice big long piece. I don't know, like, whatever, a yard or something. Okay, that's what I do. And then, you're gonna basically get a pencil, okay? Take your pencil, and you wanna mark right in front of your ear. Not on your ear, but directly in front of it. You mark a spot right under the brim next to, you don't have to mark it. I like to mark it on the sweatband so I don't mark up the hat. Okay, you take it off, you make that little mark on the sweatband there, on the leather itself, whatever it is, ribbon, okay? Then you can take a ruler and you could just go across, make sure it's like, you know, perpendicular, what do you call it, you know? Not perpendicular, you know what I'm saying. Make sure it's symmetrical, straight and stuff, okay? So you could do that, or what you can do, even easier, make a line on this side in front of the ear, make a line on this side in front of the ear. Maybe your ears aren't that straight. It's very possible, but uh, you know, humans are not that symmetrical. We're kind of like a little off. All right, so <laughs> you make a dot, you make a dot on the sweatband with a pencil, okay? Here's one. Remember, it's in front of the ear, right in front. You kind of just touch the ear bones here. Put your finger up, make that line. Okay, now you got two dots. What are you gonna do? You gotta make a hole. I generally make holes in the sweatbands, okay? Right, like, okay, you know, there. Kind of close to the reed, but not that close, you know? Could be in the middle, it doesn't matter. You make a hole, you make another hole, you get the rawhide, Okay, the rawhide basically goes behind the hat, okay, behind the hat, this is the back of my head, okay, and then in, down through one hole, down through the other hole, okay, pull it tight, so basically you got a piece of string back there, okay, that's one way to do a chin strap, that's a chin strap that goes behind your head down, okay, the other way to do it is basically make a knot on top, make a knot on top, okay? The knot goes under the sweatband, the knot goes under the sweatband there. So it's kind of like you have a hole in the sweatband, the rawhide's coming down, a hole in the sweatband, the rawhide's coming down, and underneath you've got a knot and underneath there, another knot. Now, it's a little lumpier because you do have knots there, but here's the thing. We generally have big spaces on the sides of our hats anyway. Most of us have kind of like ovalish heads and we have gaps on the side. You can't see it with my puffy hair and stuff, but there's a big gap on the side of my hat, you know? Um, the knot thing usually works. We did it for years at JJ's. If you don't like the uh, look of the leather going back there, do it that way. 
I personally don't care if you're gonna, you know, do something as like unattractive as a chin strap on a dress hat, and just have it come through the back. You know, it's functional. I personally think it's for Western hats, Outback hats, heavier hats. If you're dealing with a dress hat like this, I don't know, don't put a chin strap on it or a stampede strap. That's more for like Westerns or big hats or big flat hats, you know, anything thick, heavy. Something like this, you just got to get a good fit. Um, what you do is you tighten it, tighten it to size, okay? If it's too loose and it's blowing away, pick up the back, tighten it up by shimming it with a, uh, a sweat wick. We sell these sweat bands on our uh, website, jjhatcenter.com, for like five bucks. Or you could use weather stripping. There is something called polyfoam, um, polyfoam weather seal. It's like about three or four bucks. You get some of that. It's foam with sticky on the back. It's kind of like you use it in the sides of air conditioners and windows as insulation. You can use that to shim your... You could use anything, really. Um, but uh, this stuff works better, you know. Get six inches of it. Tighten up your hat. What I'm saying is basically you don't need a chin strap on a dress hat. You need it to be tightened to the right size and deep enough. If the hat is too shallow, it's also going to feel weird. That's another thing people don't realize that depth is very important. You need enough depth to keep it stable. If the hat's up here, it doesn't matter if it's tight or not. It's just going to slip off the top of your head. You've got to have it deep enough and tight enough. Tight enough so that you can lock it down at the brow. Now, a lot of people don't know how tight a hat should feel. It should feel... Basically, you're going to wear it above the brow bone, but the widest part of your head is the brow bone. So when a train comes, when a big breeze comes and you have to lock your hat down, you have a place to do it. At the widest part there, the bone, your hat locks down. So you could tie your shoe, it's not going to fall off. Now, I'm not going to wear my hat down here for most of the time. This is only for like when trains pass or it's like a windy day or something. I feel it's going to blow off. I do that for a few seconds or something. And you bring it up past the brow and you wear it your regular way. But you can't be so loose that when you get to that brow bone, it's not locking down. It's, I mean, for me, it's barely doing it. It's pretty loose. You know? But that's the way I like this hat. It's like my bedroom hat. It's sort of a pajamas hat or something. Um, I wear it around the house, around the neighborhood and stuff. It's, it's comfortable and beat up, you know. But, and it's soft, you know. So here's... Uh, what I'm getting at with dress hats, chin straps are just, they're, too, they're pretty out of place looking. And if you insist on it, you can get it, you know, get a stampede strap, do the rawhide. But this is for bigger hats, like, you know, westerns, big flat brim things and stuff. Um, yeah, you don't need it. A good fit will keep your hat from blowing away. Get it as tight as you can without it bothering you. And that's about it. Uh, two ways to get a chin strap, the rawhide, behind going down through holes or rawhide going up with holes underneath the sweatband I mean with knots underneath the sweatband on each side um, and, and basically the last piece I forgot to tell you about this too is you're gonna have two pieces of rawhide hanging down on your homemade sweatband you've got to get yourself some sort of a bead you know the thing that clenches it underneath there now Beads you could find at a bead store. You could just look around the house for something. You could whittle yourself a bead with like just anything like a little wood something, a, a dice or something, and just like drill a hole or something. But um, basically the easiest way to get this bead is to like take it off of an old, uh, like an old down jacket or an old uh, sweatshirt. Those little cylindrical uh, things you press the button on your on your hoods, you know those. You just take it off, take that little piece off, and put it on your new sweat on your new uh, chin strap. <sighs> Good enough coffee, I've nominal aphasia. So anyway, what you got to do is get some sort of bead to lock down the sweatband, and then once you got that bead, use that little push button clicker thing. Um, you could probably steal it off an old garment. Or just go to the Salvation Army or something and find yourself like a five dollar, you know, sweatshirt or jacket that has that and you know steal it off there and you know that's like a five dollar investment, you know. Give the jacket to the poor or something. But um this little thing will keep it nice and tight, that little plastic cylindrical push button bead do picky thing. 
you can't get that. Um, we do have some beads here at JJ Hat Center of different sizes. I might be able to throw you one for free if you really need it. Um, problem is we don't know what size you need. They're all different size, the holes and the wooden beads and stuff. But you could find them. They're around. You could just uh, improvise too. There are many ways to improvise. You could use anything that's got a little hole on it, like a, even like some sort of, you know, thing from your hardware kit or something like a, a nut or something, you know. Just, you know, bind them up. Anyway, you got your two rawhide strings. Tie a knot on one side, tie a knot on the other so there's knots on, on the bottom of both. You don't want to lose that little piece or anything. And that's it. Uh, you can make yourself a chin strap easily. You can buy them even easier if you just put a uh, stampede strap into an eBay or a, um, I would say, an eBay search or probably an Amazon search. Uh, I found stuff like that. You know, there's definitely ones. Or you just uh, go to www.jjhatcenter and we have beautiful stampede straps. Uh, they are horsehair. I think they're gray, gray and black. They do come in different colors, but we have one particular color now. I think it's a grayish black natural horse hair one. Uh, maybe we'll just play it out real quick, okay? Because he's old, Kevin, from that old day, that teaching you all about chin straps. Corny, right?